All right, you guys excited to go to school today? Yeah. All right, we're just dropping them off. So it's a big bummer. Laura was up last night throwing up and she is not feeling good today. So Jeremy decided to stay home and work from home with her so that I could still take Isaac and Elise to school because it's a bit of a drive. And if there's one thing I've learned is that throwing up on drives is not enjoyable. Up in the car. Yeah, we are. I'm so sorry you're not feeling good, buddy. While we were changing the tire, Isaac threw up in the car. Caleb and I are running into library story time because he considers that to be his school each week and it'll only take about 30 minutes. So that's what we're up to this morning. I told them about the game we are doing. Were we playing a game in the car? Yeah. Let's show them the game. Ready? All right, Caleb, what sound starts the word purple? <gasps> wow, what sound starts the word thirsty? Very good. What sound starts the word church? You are so good at that game. So the whole drive back from the kids' school, he and I have been playing rhyming games, and we've also been playing like um, assemble compound word games, and we've also been playing name the sound that the word starts with games. These are all like phonemic awareness activities that I try to do just like when we're out and about, and it helps him get ready to read because he is going to be starting to read soon, aren't you? Oh, I Look. can touch the ceiling. I love you. I love you too. How's your lip doing today? Not very good. Yeah, does it hurt? Can I see it? Does it still hurt pretty bad? Mm -hmm. I'm when sorry. I lick it, it oh. does. And when I take the drink and take it out, it like sticks and then pulls. Ouch. I'm sorry you had that owie. Okay, let's go to library story time. Thankfully, the sun has come out today. It is still really cold, but at least the sun shines out. Well, apparently Laura threw up more while we were gone, and it's just so sad to see her sick. Anyway, she's in the bathtub right now, so she's happy. Anyway, after a night and a morning of dealing with throw up, Jeremy and I are both starting to feel sick. And it's hard to know, like, is it just in our brain? Is it when you're holding somebody that's throwing up, you just naturally feel sick? Like, you guys watching this right now, might be starting to feel sick. Like, is it the idea in our head or are we actually getting sick? Anyway, sometimes it's hard to tell. Hi, Mom. Hi, Laura. Hey, Bob. Are you in the bath? Yeah. Laura? Laura, did you throw up today? Yeah. Did you spit out? Yeah. Was it yucky? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's so sad. I hope you feel better. You seem happy in the bathtub. Do you like the bathtub? Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Do you want to come take a nap? Yeah. Crib. In your crib? Pillow. With your pillow? Yeah. All right, I'm warming up your towels so we can get you out into some nice dry towels, warm ones, okay? Can I snuggle you? Yeah. All right. Girl. One of the only fluids that she's eating are these popsicles. What are they called? They're like Pedialyte, Pedialyte, popsicles. Pedialyte popsicles. So she was freezing eating them and I got out the blow dryer just to keep her warm while she was eating the popsicles. This reminds me of last year, right before Christmas, all of us got the flu. And Jeremy and I sang the most ridiculous 12 sick days of Christmas song. It's embarrassing. Hopefully this does not become that, and hopefully it's just an isolated case. Have you? Are you ready to go to sleep? No. You want to read a book together first? No. Okay, let's go snuggle and read a book. Well, I was hoping after her nap, she was going to be feeling better. But that's not the case. Do you want to go? Boots. Get my boots on, Dad. We just gave her a popsicle again. A Pedialyte popsicle, and it's red. We wish that they made them Why? dye free. Why are there not dye free Pedialyte popsicles? Maybe there are. Maybe now there are. Yeah. Anywho, all right. Good luck at the store. Now I'm gonna try to take that little girl. Laura, can Mama hold you? Yeah. All right. So Caleb has a quarter and this little bag that he carries the quarter in. It's been cracking me up all day. There it is. 
So I just picked up some of the essential stuff. Gatorade, Sprite, saltine crackers. Everything to prepare for the storm of impending flu. So with Laura being sick today, we didn't really put our focus or attention on capturing some of the great moments uh, with the kids. And while I'm editing this, I'm realizing that I have nothing of Isaac and Elise. So I went back to the vlog from one year ago today to see what was there. And there's some great stuff of Isaac and Elise. I wanted to include that for you. Oh, that's just beautiful. Yes, he did it. Very nice. So he's keeping track of how many chapter books he's reading. And so far, how many have you read? 75, and now I have to get to 100, and only 25 more books. I was drawing me, and I was a princess, and I got scared from the dark. Oh, let's see it. This is Elise as a princess getting scared of the dark. Good night. J-House out. Thankful for J-House vlogs and their encouragement every day. And I'm thankful for whipped cream and chocolate on raspberries. <laughs> you gotta try it. <laughs> I'm Morgan and I'm from Kansas City. I'm thankful for my family. Hi, my name is Kayla. I'm from Centennial, Colorado. And I'm grateful for my friends, family, and the internet. Hi, my name is Dylan and I live in California and I'm thankful for my family and YouTube. J-House out. So when I'm feeling down and I'm having a hard day, sometimes it's just hard to climb back out of it. Like I just want to reset and start over or you know, just go to bed now and wake up tomorrow and try again then. <laughs>